What's good guys, Poly Popo here. Thank you very much for coming to the channel. You know, I'm always in search of really, really great sounds. You know, I've, I should have went with a 500 series whenever I was getting into sound design and stuff, but I went into Eurorack and it's really cool now with like ChatGPT, I can sit down there and it'll actually tell me what filter, what two pole, four pole, what I need to and what degree to turn each knob, which is super, super great. But making drum sounds, man, the other day I was watching EA Ski and he came on a live and he left his link, which I'll leave in the description. And it was for some drums. Actually, I wanted the album that he had. It was a uh, buck fifty for this album, but it's going to be a collector's item. It's signed and it's legit. But uh, I'll also leave a link. Well, the video is not up anymore. But uh, the drum pack, when he said there was a drum pack, so I went to the site and I look at the album and I'm like, hey, babe, can I get the album? And like, she's like, uh, what do you need the album? And my daughter's like, you don't listen to records. I'm like, yeah, but this record's going to be signed and all this. So I'm just like, man. And then I remember in his stream, he said that there were sound pack, uh, drum packs that had been used by artists and so he's like these drums so i told him on the live i was like i'm gonna get i'm gonna check out the drums so here i am i checked out the drums and they are sick man i'm telling you um i put them on my mpc live and you you know when you hit the drums on your mpc live you hear them but when you talk about the warmth that you're talking about and the spread of the drums they come out of the speakers <laughs> I know the drums the normal drums come out of the speakers but these drums fill the speakers out I'm gonna show you actually what I do I always look for these and I put them in my MPC and I, I looked at the sound waves of each sample and I, I studied them and all that this way I know whenever I make a sound wave and it looks pretty similar to that just by looking at it, I know it's gonna hit these drums are really really great I, i'm not so great at laying them out uh really cool thing about him and bolo's kits uh they're really old school man I, I, it took me back to the mpc xl when i really didn't even know how to assign something to a pad and you have to put your drums on the pads and everything so if you i know the layout of all the basic sample packs and you know me i put sequences over it i'm not a very good drummer but these drums are phenomenal and um, I want to learn how to make them so what I did I went ahead and I'll show you on the computer here I made a sample pack all I did was use the expansion builder and I dragged your files uh, EA skis files into the expansion builder and then I went uh, to his Instagram and put a picture I downloaded it and blah 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 now I got an expansion pack let me show you what it looks like these are some really good sound designs that I got in here, okay, guys? Um, there's the EA Ski Kit that I, that I just put a picture on here. This isn't mine. This is just the sounds that I bought, and this isn't for sale or anything like that. Uh, this is just for me to have in my MPC because I dragged it in here, and it just popped up a bunch of files, and I was like, well, I just... I don't want the files I wanted to be able to pick the sounds through here so if you want that I can send it to you and you can do what you want with it but I just thought I would do this for me um, so I hope you don't mind me showing that like this on, on my channel but these sounds right here and the sounds that you're gonna hear give you no justice to what is actually um, being played through these speakers right now Those are just a few guys. I'm not going to play them all on here. He's got some breaks. It's super sick, man. I've even chopped up some of these on my MPC Live. I'm going to show you that in just a second. I want to kind of give you, a, a, you know what I'm saying? I picked these samples, right? Let's say I click on this one. And I click that sample, and I go to my sample edit. And as a student, man, I like to look. I, I really do. I like to look at this stuff. Um, I get in there 
it looks like these this tells me that there was like a limiter or some kind of compression I, I don't know too much about it but I know that I need my stuff to look like that and I do I do have some really good sounds I've I've made a couple of packs uh, my 8 bar beats pack like if I load this this bass right here and I click on that it's got a really nice fat I made some really nice sounds. Uh, I worked really hard on them. But this right here, man, these things right here are sick. You just, like this one. I don't know if it's the software or what, but it looks like it's going up and down, up and down, up and down, rounding off. But in any other doll, it's really nice. And you can even see the bottom end curving down here. If you can, I just, I really get into that. I don't know what happened here. But it's dope because then if anybody's using these drums and he comes back and looks and be like, nah, that's my, uh, that's me. I did that. <laughs> but this is super dope. So I want to say go out and check out these sounds, man. Support them because I'm really looking forward to uh, somehow I'm going to get my hands on an SP-1200. Um, I'm sold on that. And if these drums came through there, I don't even know if these drums came through there. I just know that you can tell the work that was put into these drums. Um, and I really like the fact that you make us work to put them on the pads. Because, come on, dude, a real MPC shouldn't even have sounds in it. You should be putting sounds into it. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to give some love to this... Uh, I just wanted to give some love to this sample pack and uh, you know you guys just get the folders and drag them in you can use the expansion and the expansion builder and put whatever picture you want but I think this is dope and EA Ski thank you very much for sharing this with us because we don't have good drums we don't have access to to good sounds you see what we got access to and so uh, I'm sold on it I'm so I, I really really think it's dope he did not give me these I bought these I can show you guys the receipt and everything if you need me to um, I'm just being honest with you guys like always if you want some good drums go out and check out this uh, EA, EASKI.com I'll even leave the link in the description but what I'm saying is that I have to use like I don't have my MPC hooked up to my mixer you know what I'm saying? I don't even go that far because I don't have this. I just don't. This is more of a control. It's controlling everything in my studio. Now, the ambient piano sounds, when it comes through my room and it hits through all of this stuff, it's got to go through my modular gear, my keyboard. That MIDI keyboard over there controls the Behringer Neutron, the Model D, my Life Forms Double Helix Oscillators. I got two of those. I got an Elements that makes some really cool noises and a bunch of awesome filters. And what I love about Eurorack is each box is dedicated to its own task and it does it very, very well. Um, my favorite synth of all time right now is got to be an analog synth is that um that grand that matriarch and yes i have it and it is a beautiful synth and i've I mean, i've been trying so hard to find my sound and what my sound is and i just happen to love very extremely large powerful dramatic sounds um like when a building explodes the music in the background that heavy stuff with strings all that stuff dude so i gotta have a lot of things going on and now finally i can do that with my matriarch because everything is going back into it as noise as a noise and as soon as i turn that noise up all these modules come in and everything is being sequenced with my mp so i got full control of my whole studio now I know what I'm doing but now I'm learning more and more and I don't make drums all of my packs are just sounds um, and I love making sound a lot of really really good sound and I did notice even with the lack of knowledge that I do have 
the sounds that I did provide on my site, whenever I play them with his analog drums, you can hear the warmth. You can you can feel it um, compared to some of the other sounds. I'm just saying we worked really hard. Uh, I've worked extremely hard trying to build a studio to to find my sound, and I'm still and will always try to. Now I got to get into different compressors and how to get. I still got to get good wires, dude. So I got a long journey ahead of me, but I'm loving it, and I just wanted to share along the way. Right on, guys. I'm Polly Popo, and I'll see you guys on the next one.